I have to say, Alex, a lot of people are messaging me. I asked the question at the start of the programme, are you a member? Did you vote against Rishi Sunak? Of course, uh, Rishi was the choice of the MPs, of course, not the members. Lots of people are writing in tonight saying that they are Tory party members, they did vote against uh, Rishi, and they're appalled today. Well, look, I, I am a member of the party. I don't particularly feel like I voted against Sunak. I felt I voted for Truss. Um, but that, they may amount to the same thing, because, of course, the person I voted for is out on her ear in under two months. And um, there is a certain... Um, especially if you don't get to vote in the, next, uh, in the next process, there can be a certain amount of resentment that builds up um, from that, and people will think to themselves, why am I a member of this, this movement? I actually think that they probably did the right thing. I think it would have been chaos to try to um, have a, another campaign in the country, even a foreshortened one. I think it makes sense, especially if the result is as lopsided as this. I mean, Morden couldn't get anywhere near the 100 votes that were required, so it made sense to, to go to this process. Um, I, I'm sad I'd like about to what's happened to, to, Liz to Liz Truss. Um, I'm, I'm sad about... That was Rishi interrupting uh, you there. With, with perfect timing. <laughs> the Prime Minister and I are on, on song on this. Um, I, I thought that um, she never got a chance. I thought she never got a chance to, to get out of the blocks. And most people believe in a fair uh, opportunity and to give people um, an opportunity to get going. And I, I frankly think she never did. But then again, you'll recall, I was the last Japanese soldier on his jungle island fighting the fight and saying that Boris Johnson shouldn't go. So, you know, maybe I'm just old-fashioned and traditional and we should be burning through Prime Ministers that are rated knots now. Well, I'm going to come back to you on that Boris point because in a second I just want your view on whether or not um, Boris was right to have... Uh, we've drawn, I've had a few jokes about Boris today and it's making me chuckle, so I'm picking my words carefully on oh, that okay. one. Right. Uh, it's tea time, do so I won't share. indulge. I can't. I will in the break. Not, uh, I can't do it over tea time, over, over the airwaves. Uh, Joe Phillips, where do you stand on Rishi, our new Prime Minister? Um, I think he is probably the best bet for now. He's made it very clear, as Darren was just saying, you know, unite or we are doomed to his Conservative colleagues. Um, I think it would have been an absolute disaster to go out to the members again, albeit a very truncated campaign. Um, as someone who has no say in this, I feel deeply disgruntled that I haven't got a say in who is the Prime Minister and I do think there should be a general election. And what would be absolutely amazing, but I'm sure it won't happen, is if Rishi Sunak said, OK, there's not going to be a general election very now, uh, right now. But there will be one in the spring. Meanwhile, I want to work with the opposition parties to get us through this very difficult winter. So you want a unity government? Well, I think we are in such a crisis um, financially that you could do that. And it would be quite a smart move because you're then calling on the opposition parties to work with you in the interests of the, of the country. And you promise that there will be a, a general election in the spring, which might make people who think the Tories are full of basket cases who are just going to keep fighting wars over Brexit that have really need to be put to bed and we need to get on with the future. Um, and people might think, oh, actually, they're quite sensible. I mean, I don't think he's... I, don't, I think what we need to see now, um, and actually Alex and I were just talking about it outside, um, you know, who is going to be in his cabinet? Mm. And I think that's going to set the tone very much of, you know, is it going to be just loyalists, which is the mistake that Liz Truss made? Is it going to be a broad church? Is it going to be competence, because that's what we have lacked for such a long time. We've had mates, but we've had staggering incompetence. So I, I do, um, and I agree with a bit of what Joe said about um, Sunak now needing to build unity, but uh, that's going to be bigger than any one person. The Tory party in Parliament has displayed an almost complete breakdown of discipline. Mm. It's ruined three Prime Ministers in a row, and with no offence to the Labour Party, who are doing their best to oppose, the biggest threat to any Tory PM are the people supposedly on their side rather than anyone else in the House. That's what they've got to fix, and that's a bigger job than for Sunak. But where I disagree with Joe is this. She, she had an answer to you just now, which began by saying that democracy wasn't properly recognised by have changing Prime Ministers mm. and ending by saying that we should basically have a government of national unity or reaching across the House in some way, which would, to me would be a complete rebuttal of democracy because we voted in 2019 in a general election mm. to have a Conservative majority. In a non-presidential system. In a parliamentary democracy. And for heaven's sake, if one Prime Minister can't get the job done, then another one should, rather than saying, do you know what, to hell with how you voted last time. Even if you voted against the Labour Party, you voted for the Tories, we're going to govern with them. That would be the ultimate refutation of democracy for me. But, the, but, you know, to, to get rid of one prime minister is one thing. We're now on our third. Well, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know, and you could, you could quite sensibly, and many people have argued, that, what, you know, there is no difference between uh, Tony Blair handing over to Gordon Brown or um, Theresa May taking over from David Cameron. 
But the fact that we have gone through this utter shambles... Yeah. And I want to be fair, Joe. The last time we were on, two months ago, you said it wouldn't work out with Liz Truss, and we both said you were being unfair, and it seems you were right. Well, I, uh, but, I mean, the, the other problem, and I imagine, and you will know far better, Alex, that, I, that the Conservative Party will do a lot of soul-searching, because yes. that leadership campaign, and we spoke about this during it, and it seems like years ago now... And went on for years. But it went on right through the summer, as, you know, the economic storm yeah, towns were, blue, were building. And I think that's what has, has accentuated the sense that yeah. people feel as though they have been deprived of any right to have a well, say. Well, she, she governed for less time than the contest well, that exactly. produced her victory. Yeah. And that, that, that's naturally going to lead to frustration. But I, I, I will never have a contest like that again. No, it's ridiculous. But, I mean, if they were even con contemplating electronic voting... Um, given the concerns that have been raised by security experts, one would assume that they will now allow trade unions to use that for their votes. Yeah, well, I voted, I voted electronically last time.